Welcome to the video by DJSPRC, and we're back with Project Cherokee here. There's one thing I wanted to show you, um, what I did on Project Cherokee, but before I show you this, I would like to say this video is brought to you by Great Hobbies, www.greathobbies.com. Check out their website, it's awesome. One of the things I did on this vehicle here, uh, I wanted some lights to be able to illuminate the wheel wells. Now, physically, on the Axle Cherokee SCX-102, um, they don't make any. Where I had a chance to be able to incorporate in the build itself is with my 3D printed fenders. It worked out perfectly uh, that I could put lights. Now, I turned around and was looking around, what kind of lights can I put in? Do I just want to put a normal LED and just maybe drill a hole and just stick it and it goes out on the bottom here? I could have done that, um, but I wanted something cleaner look. And by looking around and basically looking at the Traxxas TRX4s uh, series, they do have rock lights. Uh, they're especially incor incorporated in the uh, wheel wells. And I, that made me think here, that could work. What I did, I grabbed the Traxxas TRX 8026, the rock light kit. It comes with eight lights. And every light has four LEDs in case, in a casing by itself with two places to screw them. I went, okay, this would be awesome. Turn around, grab the kit, because they're all daisy chained together. Cut them. And this is where I did one of my, uh, my tests to see how basically they work. Sometimes having them in daisy chain, they'll be in, uh, in series to be able to get the exact voltage at the end. That's where I wasn't sure. I tried to power them by themselves. Uh, on at I tried on the six volt, then I tried on a 7.2, and they became extremely when I say extremely bright, I stopped. That physically told me these guys are not six volts and they're not a two cell 7.4. Then I turn around and grab the TRX 7286X. That is the power supply for the light kits of Traxxas. This guy here has multiple plugs output it has a power input and an activator with this kit you can even power the uh, Traxxas light bars any light they have in their kits you can power off this power supply here uh, and this power supply takes up to a three cell input 11.1 and will down convert the voltage to the correct voltage that these guys take here they are 2.8 volts output from this guy, uh, roughly about five, five amp. Now, knowing this, I turn around. Once I dismantle the kit, I grab four. Went in the, went in the vehicle, determined where I wanted to place them. I cut a channel in the fender and basically the same size as the physical LED here. Let me grab... Uh, there's a ridge on the side here. I measured that. Scribe on the fender here with a crayon and then grab my Dremel and basically cut the square. One of my LED didn't fit perfectly remove it a little bit until it, it sat there perfect 
and just basically use plastic bolts. They're 3M and screw them in the fender itself. They're very solid. They're not moving. They're not glued there. If I need to remove them or if I ever break my 3D, 3D, 3D printed fender, it's easy to remove. I just extended the, the wires from front to rear. You can see the fronts are here. I aligned them with the physical shock, rear and front. Uh, you could go crazy and put all eight of them on the vehicle. You could put one in the front facing this direction, this one facing that direction. I just didn't want to go overkill uh, on the rock lights itself. Now, the other thing I could, could have done is when you turn the vehicle on, this guy here will get power and will activate this once you give it your main voltage here. This is getting power directly from the battery. This guy here, what I physically did, I cut it in half. It's getting f fed by the receiver, but I put a switch here. This way, if I don't want them on during the day, I can just shut them off completely. It's not, it's not because they might draw me more current at the LED, they're barely drawing any current. It will not kill my battery, but I just wanted not to have them on for nothing during the day. Um, and yeah, basically gave main power to this guy here. Grab this one, cut it in half, popped it on a switch here. Now, if I turn around and plug in my battery, Making sure I don't short out anything. This is plugged in. Flip the switch. And you can physically see them on my, my hands here. And you can physically see them on the tires too. I'm gonna flip this around. And you physically see them right now. They're bright. If I switch the switch off, you physically see them right here. In the front, they're right here. Turn them back on. They do illuminate the wheel wells very well. I'm tipping my hat to Traxxas. Uh, great little product, especially for the power supply here. One of the things I love about the power supply is because uh, you could turn around, let's say, do your setup on your vehicle and set it up for a two cell. And one day you decide, I want a little bit more torque out of my motor and speed control. I'll put a three cell in it. And uh, unfortunately, you're going to fry your, your controller because maybe your controller cannot take a three cell. This guy can. This is one of the things I do love about this, and it's waterproof. Uh, it gives you multiple outputs. Let's say I want to add a light bar on top of Traxxas. This will power it. Or if I decide to illuminate something else in it, I can use the rest of these LEDs here. And easy plug-in, easy working. This is one of the things I do love. Uh, again, the parts I use is uh, TRX8026. Those are the pod lights, the rock lights, should I say, and I use the TRX7286X, that is the power supply. Now, you could physically buy the complete kit they do have that gives you the light bar, the four uh, rock lights, and the power supply. Unfortunately, I don't have, I don't have the part number uh, around me right now, but if you look at the Traxxas lights, you could reuse the kit complete on your vehicle. Um, normally, Traxxas doesn't make it universal. With this guy here, they pretty made it kind of, I don't know, they kind of easy to convert to something else. If you guys have any questions or comments, post down below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. Don't forget to hit that bell notification if you want to be notified next time I upload a video. And don't forget, 
you're not subscribed, subscribe. That's awesome. Don't forget to check out greathobbies.com, their website. That's awesome. Thank you for watching.